Hello, my name's Nicole Sampson and I'm Anya Sampson and today we're just going to have a wee chat about our experiences um, of the Pope John Paul II and the Papal Cross Awards. So I did my Pope John Paul II award in 2013 and then Nicole and I done the P Papal Cross Award together in 2014. So I did my Pope John Paul II award then in 2012. Through participation in these awards, we were able to get involved in parish life in different ways. I was a reader and a Eucharistic minister and still do so today. And through the Pope John Paul II award, I became a Eucharistic minister also and continued on afterwards because I thought it was such an honour to do as a young person in the parish also. Another thing that we got to experience through participation in the award was just getting to um, know people from different schools, um, which was something that we may not have had the opportunity to do had we not been involved in, in this way. Um, through just the wee meetings and activities that were arranged for us. And on that as well, there was other opportunities that we kind of got outside of the parish as well. So both of us travelled to Lourdes together, which was lovely to go as sisters for the very first time because we could share that experience together. And the both of us went numerous times afterwards. And we also went to World Youth Day in 2016 and travelled there with Bishop Donal, which was such an incredible Fantastic. opportunity because there was hundreds of thousands of other young adults of the Catholic faith all together coming as one for the common good and it was amazing to be share that experience with Bishop Donald because you always look up to him and you know how great he is with young people and then to kind of witness that firsthand it was it was brilliant to build that rapport with him as well. Seeing him as a friend and not just a leader. Yeah I would really advocate the award I think e either of them if you're thinking on doing the Pope John Paul II award or even the Papal Cross award or both definitely to don't hesitate just sign yourself Go up for it. I think one more thing that was one of the most um, fond memories that I have is probably the people that you get to interact with within the chapel that you probably wouldn't have met before as well. So the generation above and the generation above them even, just getting to know them and say a quick hello and um, interact in a way that you would never have done so before. So I'd say the people that we're closest to now are... Um, within the chapel probably we consider them family at this point yeah. rather than, than just friends which is something that's um, really really unique and something that's I think I'll look back on forever and be like remember whenever we met those people through the common denominator yeah. that is um, our participation in the chapel yeah so like we say if there's any questions please feel free to hit them below this video yeah. and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible definitely thank you very much thank for you. watching Thanks.